Welcome once again to Educator.com, and we're continuing with the most important part of the course, the Creative Writing and Fiction course. So, what I'm going over now is this idea of showing, not telling. This is one of the most important, important rules that you will ever learn whenever you're writing anything that's fiction-oriented. Believe me, if you learn how to show, not tell, people will actually really, really like what you're reading, and they'll actually want to pay attention to it. I'm going to go over some quick techniques to kind of learn how to teach you how to do that. So, what we're going to go over is we're going to just go over basically what the difference between showing and telling look like so that you kind of understand, you know, what that is. Then we're going to learn how to show by particular actions that a character will perform. And then finally, we're going to do body language. You know, believe it or not, that's a lot of communication and a lot is communicated just with your body. And so we're going to go over some basics about how you might describe your character's body language in a story in order to better communicate what they're feeling, what they're thinking, or how they're acting, and what kind of people they are. Think back to Strunken Whites when we were going over our research writing and you were editing your papers for your first time. Strunken Whites had said, use no more words than necessary. And when we summarize, we also want to use as few words as possible and then we had kind of this very important motto, make every word tell. And that's maybe a better way to put that is make every word count. You know, use your economy of words and make every word just really important, choose them carefully, and that's, you know, kind of the best thing to do. Now, this is great advice for what kind of writing, though. Is it good for, you know, logos type writing, rhetoric, or creative writing? Okay, it's really best just mostly for, like, real you know, cut and dry kind of thinking type writing, but maybe not so much for when it comes to rhetoric and creative. Now, we still want to not use too many words, but we're going to find out later exactly how many words we should use. So kind of put this advice aside for a moment, and let's con 